We got a good early start this morning on Golden Crude. Let's get rolling here this morning. Let's check things out. All right, we've had uh, Gerald Good. Let's do Crude first, then we'll go over to Gold. Same exact setup on Crude that we had on Gold this morning. First of all, hey, lady, let's take Kwame. Let's go ahead and take a look at both markets real quick, and I want to show you the order imbalances that drove these markets up. All right, first of all, get that out of the way. Let's go to crude oil. Okay, crude oil at the time, first of all, when we look at these charts, we have a market profile chart that's our black template. These templates are already pre-made for all markets. It doesn't matter what market you trade. All futures, stocks, currency, doesn't matter. This template will work on it. So will the uh, our great template is our market delta. That shows us the order imbalance at the time that we want to enter the trade. And then to our right is the J-signal chart, which shows our Fibonacci retracements with our developing profile. So what we have is we have two charts that we feed off of. The black chart, which is more volume and price market profile based. And then we have our J-signal chart. You'll see a green and red line, which is more developing profile based. The cool thing about using these charts is that uh, these uh, the market profile levels will update for you to show you where major support and resistance is. Now, on this black chart, it's very simple. We have these solid lines. We have a solid blue, which is the control point. We traded off that this morning. We have a solid red, which is a high value area. And we have a solid green, which is a low value area. These will move and find value during the day in more volume based. And this is a trade setup we just uh, executed here, and I'll go over that in a second. All right. If you look over here on the J signal chart, so that's two profiles. We have a more volume based, which is your solid line, and then these dotted lines are more price based. These dotted lines, we get the same thing high values in red, low values in green, and then more control is in blue. What we try to do is we try to see when these levels overlap or come within a couple ticks of each other to find a stack level. It should reverse the market for us. The control point by itself can reverse the market all by itself. So if you're looking at a high value and low value, the stack levels are what we want to do when we're trying to find reversal points. We can use the white chart over here, the J signal chart, consequently at the same time to find if we are at the same level meaning we only have a high value and low value area over here. So I have three different profiles I'm looking for to stack within a couple ticks of each other to find what's called a brick wall or should reverse the markets on any market that we trade. So these two charts are going to continually find during the day, the trading day, the major support and major resistance that we need to execute our trades with a high probability of success. So our job as traders is to wait for these stacked levels or these areas to get long or short the market. So we have two profiles on the black chart to sum it up, volume and price. These are static. The dotted lines will be static. They update periodically during the day a couple times in the morning. Your solid lines will adjust and find value. Then they'll lock themselves in like this up here, which I'll go over in a second. High value called the high. And I'll show you exactly how that works in one sec. So let's trade, let's take a look at our methodology, what exactly we do. All right, the first thing we have to do is establish trend. And we have a trend filter built into our template, our market profile template. And the easy way to find trend is the market can only do two things. It goes vertical or sideways. If it's going to the upside, we want to see this little magenta or magenta moving average angled up. Moving averages are worthless to me, but they're great for trend direction. If it's angled up, I want to buy retracements. That's my goal. I want to buy retracements on this white chart. I want to buy retracements on this black chart. I want to buy retracements into support. Now, at the time, the control point was right here exactly at this low, almost to the exact tick. So when we're sitting down here, this control point will adjust and find value as the day moves on. At the time, the control point was sitting right there when traders took this long this morning. So you traders in the room that took this long, you saw it right on the control point. The moving, the moving average was angled up. I want to buy retracements. At the same time, consequently, over here at the J-signal chart, I had Fibonacci buy retracement. So at the same price point in time, I got the control point for major support because you can trade off of it all by itself with a major buy or sell imbalance with market delta. 
but I had the same setup coming over here on J signal on the white chart with a Fibonacci retracement with trend. Okay, so if you look what happened was I came down the control point, I found support. I have a J signal buy setup because I broke out of HVA, which is considered strength. I, this is my first retracement after breaking out of HVA. So I'm looking for a positive market delta. Now, if you look over here, my great templates used for one reason. We use it for buy or sell imbalances. And this is what gives us the edge over our trading opponents with market profile. Not only do we know that the market profile has worked for 31 years for support and resistance, we know that market delta will give us the buy or sell imbalance if there's a high probability of a turning point at that level. So when we hit the control point right to almost the exact tick at 5120, and consequently we're over here having a buy setup on J signal, because J signal, the white chart, is very simple. If I break inside or outside of this red or green line, I look for the first buy or sell retracement with my fib dots with trend. So I got a buy setup on J signal. I got a buy setup at the control point. Now what I want to do is wait for the control. Well, I want to wait for market delta to turn close green. Now I use a Renko bar, and this Renko bar is proprietary. I don't use tick charts. I don't use volume charts. I don't use range bars. I don't think they're very, very um, accurate when it comes to trading off of market delta. So I got 496 positive market delta. That shows me a major buy imbalance. Anything over 200 is a major buy imbalance on crude oil. I use only the five Simrenko as a long-term time frame for my market delta. I don't use any other time frame. So 496, when that closes, you can enter your trade. Your stop loss is going to be a maximum 15 ticks. We don't risk more than $150 per contract. You can place your stop loss in two ticks below this swing low as our catastrophic stop, and your target is going to be the opposite side of market profile up here, HVA, which is sitting at 4140, or you can scale up my symmetry dots over here, which was at 4145 within two ticks. Okay? So what we done, well, I mean, how we traded the setup is that we let the control point test with trend. It was positive market delta. The trade entry was the close of positive market delta. Your stop loss is always two ticks below the swing low of market delta. And then you try to get to the opposite side of profile or scale at symmetry dots up here, two ticks within the red dots over here in J signal. And first off, now what I did when price is up here, live up here, 4141, I said scale. If you look in the chat room, go back, I said scale crude. Why? This is a three time stack level. I got my volume profile here my solid line, I got my price profile here, my dotted line, they're within a couple ticks of each other, that's a stack level, and then look over here, I've got my HVA over here also, my high value area on developing profile at 41. Are you kidding me, right? Three times stacked area. You don't get better than that. That's gonna be your best setup in the trading room, okay, that you're gonna get looking at these charts. There's one time stacked area at 41.41, there's two times stacked area at 4140. There's three times stacked area at 4141. I got three times stacked area at the exact, exact same price point in time. That tells you you must scale contracts. If this market was in a downtrend, I would sell this in a heartbeat without even thinking about it, and it could possibly produce a thousand dollar trade risking 120 bucks because three times stacked area is your brick wall that you're gonna get. Two times stacked area can reverse the market. Three times stacked area, you better scale contracts if you're long, or you better look for a reversal because that is a strong area. Okay? Gerald, go over to gold. If you look at gold, if I'm looking at gold, okay? If I'm gold, same exact setup. Now, at this, at this price point in time, when this hit, it called the exact low to the tick also. My high value area which is red before it adjusted up when price is moving up. Remember, this adjusts and it locks itself in. We don't trade off these solid lines until they lock themselves in. It locked itself in, price got above, it got above here, came down, tested to the exact tick, right here, exact tick. At the same price point in time, check my J signal out, you know it, right here it is, blue Fibonacci dots, right on symmetry, give you a little support. I got the same exact setup, high value area, break, retest with trend. Do I have positive market delta at the low? Sure do. Look at this positive market delta. 
Now, this is a huge positive market delta, huge. And if you look, if I go back and look at this positive market delta, if I look at what happened here, it was a major buy imbalance. This made 124. I only used the four SIM Rinko on gold. Anything over 50 is a major buy imbalance. My traders know this. So this, right when it closed, you enter the trade. Your fill was 170.9. Okay, 170.9. And the trade takes off. Okay, your stop is two ticks below the swing low then. Your stop is two ticks below the swing low so we don't risk a lot of monies on our account. There's your stop. Where's your target? The outside side of market profile or what? Symmetry dots. Look at this over here. Here it is. Look at my J signal that gave a buy setup right here. You can place your order two ticks below that symmetry dots for a first target. A lot of you just do 10 tick first targets. That's fine. But this is a wave three, and this is a wave five. Look how this one worked also. If I look at my market delta on this, when I had the next Fibonacci retracement, sure enough, my market delta right here, what is it? You know it, 108 over 50, another major order imbalance. So check this out. Look at my two buy, buy setups right here on gold. They both hit their targets, their first target. There, 108. Major buy and bounce, look all the way down here, 108. 108, major market delta on my fib retracement on a wave five, and 124. All right, so use market delta not only for the Fibonacci retracements with trend, use market delta for my stacked areas on market profile. So what I'm doing here, guys and gals, I know that my market profile will find the spot in the market for a high probability trade. Go back to crude, Gerald. I know that if you look at crude, this is three times stacked area, right? Gerald hit crude. Hey, Gerald. Hit crude. All right, I know this is three times stacked level. So I said to scale because of a possible reversal. Sure enough, look how that stacked area reversed the market. Do you think that's by just luck? that this happens on a daily and weekly basis for 31 years? It's order flow. You have to remember there's nothing else that I know of that can beat market profile combined with market delta. It is a powerful combination, especially if you get a stack level. This is three times the order stack. I got volume profile, I got price profile, I got developing profile, all at the same price point in time. You gotta put yourself in a position to win in the market. The way you're gonna put yourself in a position to win is getting into stack levels. That's three times stacked right there. Okay, so nice buy setup.